intro in association with the boxing voice, I'm here, all right, with someone who came all the way from Ontario, Canada, to the Garden, Mr. Tony Lewis, uh, didn't get a decision uh, against John Bausa, El Terrible Bausa, 140-pound fighter. A lot of people here in press row believe uh, that you deserved at least a draw in that fight. Tony, could you just tell me about your thoughts on that fight? Uh, I, I thought maybe I got off to a bit of a slow start in the beginning, but I really felt by the halfway point, I was really starting to uh, break him down and get to him with the body work, with the, the volume, the output. Didn't like it inside, was doing a lot of holding, put him up against the ropes, rough him up. Uh, but obviously then, then he'd be good at, he'd find a way to circle back to the ring and create distance again, get behind the jab and have to work hard to get inside again. It's a good back and forth fight. Um, I don't have an, a, a conclusive opinion yet on the fight because I got to review the tape for myself, but I definitely wouldn't argue with at least a draw. Uh, at least a draw. Maybe split decision for him, maybe, but uh, I, I got to watch the fight for myself. Well, people here in the United States have seen you. Uh, they know that you always put up a tough test, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, your losses have mostly come in, in very competitive fights. Mm -hmm. uh, this is no exception to that. Uh, we've seen you before fighting on an ESPN card. Yeah. Uh, we've seen you now the second time fighting on an ESPN card. Um, you're this, the is my, uh, this might be my third time on ESPN. I beat Carl Dargan on ESPN. There you go. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah. So, I mean, you've had some successes, right, mm -hmm. uh, fighting here in the United States. Uh, we beat two undefeated fighters, one's Al Ellison and Carl Dargan. Got a very controversial close call with Ivan Redcatch. Uh, my made my pro debut, uh, not my pro debut, my American debut in the States with a first round knockout uh, yeah. many moons ago. Um, yeah, we had a couple wins. We also had a couple nice wins on CBS Sports uh, on this side of the border. Um, we, we went on a five year run where we went undefeated, picked up a North American belt, and uh, uh, I, when I went to England in 2015, I really felt I came back home an interim world champion that day. Uh, didn't get the, the call officially, but I think anyone outside of England felt we did. Uh, it's, it's been a nice ride, man, what can I say? So, first question, was this any tougher than any of those, those, those fights that you've mentioned? No, 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 I wouldn't say tougher. No. All right, uh, so y your assessment of the fight, did you think you won? You know, I wouldn't argue with the win. I wouldn't argue with the draw. Um, I think it could have had a more definitive ending for me if I had more rounds, to be honest. If I had maybe 10 rounds instead of eight, we could have seen a more uh, definitive ending. All right, and uh, look, you've, you've outlined a bit of your, your progression here in the United States. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about coming from Cornwall. We've heard about fighters coming from Montreal, which is a hotbed for boxing. All right, of French Canada. Mm -hmm. um, lesser extent, we've heard, uh, you know, about guys from Ontario, guys like Steve Molitor. We yeah. just saw Steve Rolls. Yeah. All right. What's the scene like in Cornwall? What's it like coming out of Cornwall as a professional fighter? Well, I had to do a lot of traveling and commuting, but I think what I've proven over the years, coming from a small town like Cornwall, uh, we're the only boxing gym in town. But um, it uh, doesn't matter where you're from; it's what you got here on the inside. And I've proven that because um, I've been all over and I, I competed with the best and I hung with the best and uh, uh, I wasn't uh, I wasn't far behind anybody. I was right on the level with everyone else from the big cities. I was beating guys from the big cities in the amateur, Toronto, the Montreal, is this and that, the States. It didn't matter. We developed the reputation. You're fighting somebody from Cornwall, anybody, you know you're in a fight. There you go. So, Tony, we talked about your heritage off camera before the interview started. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess that you were Portuguese off of the name, mm -hmm. uh, your, da your dad's <laughs> name too. Yeah. You told me that you're Greek as well through yes. your mother's side. My mother was Greek, yeah. What are your thoughts on George Gambosis Jr. winning the 130-pound lightweight uh, championship of the world? It actually happened in this room yeah, right that, here in New York that, that, New that, York City. That's great for him. Did you know we were supposed to fight a few years ago? No. We were supposed to unify our... our uh, we each had regional belts, uh, and uh, we were supposed to unify them in a 12-rounder uh, in Australia. And the fight got canceled maybe a month, two, three weeks out, I forget. Uh, he was on the verge of signing with Lou DiBella. 
and the Bella didn't want to, thought it was a risky fight. He goes, hey, you guys can go ahead with that fight if you want, but he goes, I got my platform here on Broadway, make his debut in the States instead, so his, his management team took that safer route. But I would love to have fought him, and, but I'm really happy for Cambosos. So, uh, I thought he performed great against Tiafimo. He made a statement, showed a lot of balls and character, and uh, more than I expected, actually. And uh, I think uh, I think he, he's gonna. I think he's still gonna get underestimated by some of the lightweights, and he's gonna give us a, a couple more surprises. Absolutely, so good for him. There you go. Well, Tony, look, uh, this can't be your last time here in New York City. <laughs> we need to see you again. You put on a great show uh, for the fans here. Tony Lewis, everyone. Check him out. Uh, how do people follow you? Uh, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, my Instagram is Tony underscore Lightning underscore Lewis. Uh, Facebook is just Tony Lewis. And uh, yeah, that's it, man. Absolutely. Tony, thank you so thank much. You, thank you, man. For the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace